Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, and thank you for chiming in this morning, wherever you may be in this world. Thank you for tuning in. It is March 23rd out here, 2023, Thursday morning, and it's 8.15 a.m. We have a, a lineup of service calls to take care of today and tomorrow before we head out to the Sunshine State, the sunny state of Florida. And I hope everybody is doing well out there. This morning we are heading to a returning customer's house. And oh man, they forgot to turn their hose bib off in the winter time. They forgot to turn it off and drain it. Like I specifically told them to after we ran this line outside for them. And they forgot to do it. So you know what? There's no freebies out here. There's no, um... Oh, you forgot to tell me and uh, the thing froze and now I can't use it. But the seasons are changing. It's 52 degrees out here this morning. And people want their hose bibs outside in their backyard. So we're here to give it to them. And I'm just curious to see where this piece of half inch copper is split. I remember we ran about, I don't know, eight feet of half inch copper with a few pro press fittings. And I'm curious to know if it's on the elbow of the press fitting or it's on the piece of pipe. But I remember specifically, I put a nice ball valve in their warm boiler room with a drain right after it and they forgot to shut it down. Guys, if you are going to be leaving your home in these winter months for a specific amount of time and the temperature does drop below 32 degrees, which is freezing, make sure you shut off your hose bib heading outside because it will freeze. And that's what happened to this customer. So we're going there now and we're going to go see what it is. It's gonna, probably going to be an easy fix. I remember wrapping it with some insulation and whatnot. But we're heading there now and uh, we're going to get it done for them. So stay tuned uh, for this video. Stay till the end because we do get we do get a little humorous on this channel, which I know you guys like and you never know who we're going to run into. So stay till the end. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, keep those prank calls coming. Guys, and if you want a t-shirt, let me know. I sent out a few yesterday, and I still got to send out a few today. So if you want a t-shirt, shoot me an email, leave me a comment down below, with your full name and address, and we'll send you a Let's Do Yours Next t-shirt. All right, guys, let's go to this lovely customer's house, and let's go repair their hose bib. Here we go. Yes, and Florida is much needed, much needed time away, guys. It is about 80 degrees down there in Florida this past week. But we really enjoy what we do out here. We really do enjoy it. But we really enjoy some R&R &R and some time to just let loose and relax. And guys, you need that every once in a while. You can't always be six days a week out here, sometimes seven. You can't, guys. You got to give yourself a break out here. And don't worry. The work will still be there. The work is not going anywhere. Trust me. And if your customers are that valuable and you give them that value, they will wait for you unless it's not an emergency. But we do need some R&R &R and that's what we're going for. So we can't wait to hit that sunshine state and uh, we can't wait to get some good vitamin D because we really do enjoy it. So, all right guys, let's go make this repair and uh, let's go see what we're up against. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Stay tuned guys, stay tuned till the end. All right, guys, we are just pulling up now to the block. And it's funny, I used to work right around this block here, over at Fox Plumbing, right on the corner here. When I first started, that was my first shop. And we'll drive past it when we leave this uh, service call here. But we are looking for a spot here, and it's rough. It is a rough block, but look at this. I think we'll fit it right here. This is where we're going to put it this morning. And guys, when you park in front of a customer's house and you're supposed to be here at a specific time you know what we're gonna pull it right here right next to this pink house because we like pink two in a pink one in a stink 
<laughs> oh, man, guys, let's keep it PG rated, will you? All right, let's back this in. And, guys, when you park, get out right away and get the job done. Customers don't want you in their home for that long. So get it done and no excuses. Here All we right, go. Guys, I lied. I thought I was parking the Lexus or the Audi. Thought I was able to fit. Wasn't able to. We're going to park in between these two driveways right here. Hopefully we pass this yellow line because we don't want any nasty neighbors coming out and, uh, you know, slashing the hell out of our tires out here. That's what they do out in Queens. <laughs> All right. So, guys, let's uh, parallel park this baby and uh, let's go see what we're up against. Here we go. There you have it. Do not block the driveway. Do not. I'm telling you, people out here are savages. They will have your shit towed, ticketed, slashed, whatever it is. All right, let's go meet this lovely customer. Here we go. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right. So, guys, we got. Um, you know what? No, can you can you just open the um cellar door there? Oh, you gotta come in. Yeah, I gotta come in. All right, you gotta give me a few minutes. I, I didn't know you were coming in. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I need to be able. No problem. Yeah, I need to be able to control it. Okay. Yeah, something, something is leaking here. Looks like right here it's split, and maybe over there is split. But this is a piece of half-inch copper that I ran for them. And oh crap! All right, I gotta get in there. I gotta get in there. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna get my drop cloth because I don't feel like getting wet today, honestly. Let's disconnect hose. I'm just gonna pose this out of the way. I'll shut this. And we'll turn that whole valve on inside. But, all right, while we wait for him, let's go get some tools on a drop floor. Well, I really like the, the bar. I really love this yard here. This yard is nice for Queens area. Barbecue, grill top, wine cooler. Very nice. Nice stone, very nice. Very nice. Sun gets a lot of, uh, I mean, this yard gets a lot of sun back here. Very nice. I like the way they did it. All right, so as the gentleman in the basement is putting his pants on because <laughs> I guess he can't come to the door. He's got no clothes on. The gentleman just woke up. Meantime, we're going to grab our screw gun. We're going to grab, guys, remember, oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Remember, you are the light right there. You're all the light, guys. Remember that, okay? You can do anything you want in this world. Don't let anybody tell you different. And I'm telling you, if anybody can do it, me, if anybody like me can do it, trust me, you can do it, guys. Don't put up with anybody's bullshit out here. Honestly, life is too short, and I'm going to get a little inspirational on here. Don't put up with anybody's bullshit, whether it's friendships, relationships, Wives, husbands, don't. Don't put up with it. All right, let's grab some half-inch press slip couplings, maybe some elbows. Our press machine, we're going to bring out the M12 today. And uh, I'm going to clean this truck up a little bit. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. And uh, all right, let's get to it. Let's grab our drop cloth because I don't feel like getting wet this morning. Sure, this thing don't fall. Okay, beautiful. All right, guys, let's grab some material. Here we guys, go. here we use tactics organizer, guys, fitting organizer. I don't like the pack outs. I think they're overrated. Um, yeah, they look cool or whatever, but I like to be different. I like to stand out and not really fit in. So I went with tactics. This thing is nice. I got my half inch press fittings here. I got couplings here. We'll grab a couple of couplings. We'll grab a couple of half inch press elbows. And uh, we're going to make this repair. Guys, it's really important to stay organized if you really want to be efficient out here, honestly. If you want to be efficient, you got to stay organized. So, um, let's grab another coupling and an elbow. And, uh, yeah, guys, so that's what I use, tactics. Invest in them. You can find them on Amazon. You can find them on... You can also find them on eBay. Very nice tactics. Expensive, but... Solid, solid quality. I should give you guys a truck tour or whatnot, but this is where I keep 
all of my power tools right in here. We got our nipple caddies right on the bottom there. We got our wire nuts, our hardware, toggle bolts, Capcom screws. We got our hangers, our supports, riser clamps, clevis hangers, <clears throat> Kindle clips, galvanizing copper straps, knee brackets, L brackets, copper fittings, navy and control boards, knee pad. Ooh, we're gonna bring out the knee pad today. We should bring it out every day. But here we have our Testo. Testo 320, we got our NAVAC flaring tool, we got our bulldog hammer drill, we got our ear protection, we got our pump, we got our right angle drill, we got our rigid inspection camera right down there, and we got our M12 Pro Press right in here. So guys, be organized out here, and uh, whatever you feel works best for you, you do that. We're using the half inch jaws today. We're gonna use our M12. Let's check the battery life on this guy. Oh, I'm sure she has got two bars. That's good for a couple of presses right there. And uh, yeah, guys, in another video, we'll do a whole truck tour or whatever, but got all my circulators, heating. This is all my heating side right here. Steam valves, radiator valves, steam control valves, ECM circulators, condensate neutralizers, Gas valves, pilot assemblies, gas valves for water heaters, pressure reducing valves, thermostats, whole bunch of stuff, guys. We'll go over that in another video. But um, this is a 2020 Ford Transit medium roof. If you are, you could stand in here if you're six foot two or whatnot. Uh, I'm five nine, so I fit perfectly in here. And this is a solid truck, man. We've got a lot of weight in here, a lot of stuff in here, so. All right, guys, let's go make this repair. Hopefully, this gentleman is ready. All right, so guys, we're going in. We got our moving blanket in there. We got our knee pad. Yes, beautiful. Thank you, Lydia. Thank you. All right, we're gonna go in here now, and it's tight. We're tight for real estate. But yeah, okay, you can see. You can see it split. You can see it split right there. Piece of pipe split right here. I wanna see if there's another one. Okay. Let's see if there's another one. Uh, I don't know if it's this elbow. Let's see. I took the jacket off so we don't damage the jacket. Let's see. I think we got one. Let's see if it's just. Oh, nope. We got another one behind here. Uh, let's see if I can get you coming along with me on this one. And hand me a freaking wrench, will you? Pass me the tubing cutter. Well, yeah, I'm gonna need it. And where is it? Let me show you this one. We're tight for space here. And there she is right here. She split. She split wide open. Let's see if there's any others. I don't think so. I think it's just those two. That one. This one. Now let me go down this way. See if there's any other ones. I don't think so. All right, we're gonna make this repair. We're gonna make this repair. We're gonna cut it, put a coupling, and put a coupling, and a uh, small piece of pipe. We're gonna reuse this elbow right here. All right, so let's get my screw gun. And let's remove, oh, let's remove these screws right here. Let's remove these, these screws here. Guys, we're using Milwaukee's M12 screw gun. Very nice, Team Red. Very nice. All right, we got that. We're gonna put this aside. I'm gonna take this one off right here. Uh, let's see if we get in there. Oh, I'm getting wet. The water is going right down my neck. Do you see it? It's dripping right on me. Look at this. <laughs> oh man. That's a nice treat because it is warm out here this morning. It is pretty warm and it feels good. Look at that. I think I'm getting a shower right on me. Not bad. I don't mind it. If you're a plumber and you're scared of water. Oh, but that one went in the eye. Oh, that one gave me a nice shot in the eye. <laughs> All right. Come on. Let's get this last screw out. Nice shot in the eye. That should only happen to your girlfriend, not to me. <laughs> Let's take this out. Put that phone down. 
All right, good work with my right hand because I'm a spaz with my left hand. All right, let's take this strap off and let's cut this. Oh yeah, look at that water. All right, let's cut it. rigid tubing cutter. So let's cut this guy. I can't get the M12 automatic cutter in here. It's just too tight of a spot. Too tight like your girlfriend. Alright. Let's get this cutter in here. Right, let's cut this. Let's cut this piece right here. Let's cut this piece that's split. Everybody's enjoying their Thursday. And guys, you need a vacation too. You deserve a vacation too as well. Don't think that you don't. We work too damn hard out here. I'm talking about you guys. You guys work very hard. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. We're going to Florida Saturday. We're going to Sicily in June. And we might even book a cruise after that. conditions guys we really don't we really don't and doctors don't work in the best conditions either how about when you go for a colonoscopy you think that guy works in the best conditions <laughs> you think he really wants to be seeing or sniffing that ass of yours <laughs> but the gynecologist I don't know. Big thumbs up to him. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's still falling. Oh, man. Guys, you try to make light of things. Try to make it humorous. Let's cut this piece of half inch copper out of here. Everybody's nice and relaxed in their bed watching this video or on their couch. While we're out here working. See, you got one split right there. Yeah, one split right there. Where's the other one? Right there. So you had a total of two. Total of two. We're going to put a new piece. Because I need to keep it tight to that wall so if we cut this off here it's gonna bring us an inch off of that wall which isn't good so we're gonna get on a whole new piece we're gonna cut this we're gonna put a coupling on this one that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna extend that piece so it's just gonna be one piece with an elbow and we'll be all right uh, let's see let's cut this right here no, there's no creatures down here, which is good. There's no squirrels living down here. It's the only time you'll see me on my knees at my day job. <laughs> and yes, the knee pad comes in clutch. You guys enjoy looking at my ugly mug or what? I should put a mask on. Yeah, somebody made a comment the other day that I have fangs. I don't know. 
People say the weirdest things, man. It's funny. It's funny. And I will never block any of you guys. You guys want to be harsh or whatever, mean or rude. I will never block you guys because the the traffic that you guys cause, the comments, the views, it makes the channel grow. And I don't really care if you guys don't have nice things to say. I don't really care if you have good things to say. You know, I've been running my own show for a while now and um, lost a lot of many friends along the way. Dealt with a bunch of people. And I must say, the hardest thing in life is dealing with people. I don't know about you guys, if you guys have a lot of friends out there, but I sure don't. But I do know a ton, a shit ton of people. And good, good friends are for damn sure hard to come by. But that's okay. I only let a certain in, in my bubble. As should you guys. As should you guys. Half inch slip coupling. That's what we're putting on there. Half inch slip coupling. And that's what we're putting on there. And we're probably going to use this side. Beautiful. Let's see what we got here. You're beautiful. Mark this again because the mark came off. Mark that halfway. Slip this mammy jammy on here. Ooh, and this piece is a little deformed. Yeah, all right, we gotta cut some more off. Let's cut some more off here. Just how your sister likes it. Get our big tubing cutter. Mm. Oh, yeah, guys, the hardest thing is dealing with people out here. The less you say, the better. Trust me. All right. Let's put this on. A nice little slip cup on there. This guy. Guys, mark all your fittings. Honestly. Mark them all. Mark them all, baby. And that'll and that'll be nice for that. Let me see how this looks. Yeah, that'll look good. Alright. 
first press of the day. Are you ready? First press of the day, here we go. Half inch slip pipe. Let's see what this thing can do with two bars on you. She's just about dead. She's just about dead. We're gonna take the battery from here. Plop it in there. 12, baby. M freaking 12. Alright, let's get this on there. So that's good. Make sure that's nice and straight. on there and let's press this guy right here yeah why am i why am i making sticks but who knows all right i'm gonna keep that like that I'm gonna hit this other elbow up here too. Let's see. Yeah, the back is starting to hurt. The back is starting to hurt. Put our straps back. Let's put our straps back. I know you guys are saying this video is kind of boring. I'm sure it is. But not as boring as your wife. Not as boring as your wife. That's for damn sure. Not as boring as your wife. just like that until I press it then I'm gonna take it back off and put the insulation on well, let's press this coupling make sure that's in and we turn the water on it'd be cool if I had a battery in it right make sure this hose bib is closed let's see all right guys let's make sure that this hose bib is closed and we're going to turn this water on let's move these tools out of the way we don't want to get them wet get them out of the way and uh let's turn this water on nice and slow here we go turn the main off already? no okay so i can do like laundry yeah go ahead yeah do what you gotta do yeah, I usually I put all, I don't have a lot of storage, so I put everything against the door. Oh back. yeah. Oh. All okay, right, no, no problem. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. All right. No, I'm okay. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, thank you. All right, let's uh, let's open this nice and slow. Uh, let's test for leaks. Let's see what we got. Let's see. We got it on now. I don't hear anything. 
Let's see how lucky we are. Let's see how lucky we are. Yeah, we're pretty good. All right, perfect. Beautiful thing. Put these screws here. Let's get this insulation back. And let's put it, put the insulation all back. All right, looks good. Beautiful. All right, let's put all this insulation back and strap it nicely. Here we go. Right, guys, and there you have it. She is set for the summertime. Beautiful, that's how you make a repair on a half inch broken water line. Here it is, here's the culprit. One, there's the other one. Two, right there. I'm telling you, crack kills. Crack sure does kill. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I didn't really um, record the uh, final interaction with the customer because a lot of my customers, we keep on a personal level and sometimes I choose not to record. But if you don't learn anything from this, guys, from this video, I'm going to teach you this. The homeowner said that she has her husband drain the, the hose bib outside, shuts the valve, but the most important step that they are missing is disconnecting that garden hose from that hose bib. You got to disconnect that hose from that hose bib there. If not, water's going to sit in there and it's just going to crack again. So, guys, make sure you shut your, your isolation valves. Go into your hose bib. You open up the drain on the inside. You open up the hose bib outside and make sure you disconnect that hose. All right, guys, another happy customer out here. We were happy to get that done for them before we head to Florida because they want to they want to clean their backyard. And right now we're heading towards my first shop where I used to work. Did he get new trucks? No. I used to work right here. Right here in this shop. Right here in that garage right there. I used to work there for my first five years. First five years worked there. But uh, it is what it is. You have to break ties. You have to burn bridges. If you want to go and expand and make more money and learn more, you got to, you got to, you got to expand. You got to grow. You got to move on. You got to move on. And don't be afraid to move on. Guys, those of you that are content and comfortable in the position that you're in, man, you better shake that feeling because life isn't supposed to be as comfortable. That's what makes you grow, guys. The uncomfortable feeling of life and trying new things and venturing out and taking those risks especially in business that's what makes life so beautiful so don't be so comfortable out here that uncomfortable feeling is normal it's normal for the strong ones out here and guys those of you who are watching this content stay strong with anything in life whatever you're going through whether it's health issues family issues stay strong out there and Think with your noggin, think with your head, and make the right decisions. Sometimes we um, don't make the right decisions when we're not thinking clearly, and then when we're under pressure. But guys, stay strong, ask for advice. There's no problem with bouncing ideas or questions off of things. That's why we have friends out here. That's why we have people. We don't have many friends out here, but stay true to the, the ones that stay true to you. And um, you know, we're all in this together. But why don't you guys start yelling at me for putting, not having my seatbelt on? Why don't you guys do that? I would appreciate that, you know? Who wants to get a ticket out here? All right, guys. We are heading now to a customer's house over in Whitestone, Queens. Beautiful area. Who's got several gas leaks on his gas main coming in. And it's after the valve, which is good. So, um, we're able to isolate it. And, um... We're going to uh, repair this gas leak for him. So, guys, hope everybody in enjoyed this content here, this little service call that we ran. And, um, you know, leave a comment down below. I want to know what you guys think out here about life, about work, about how or what makes this world go around. Come on, let's get a little, let's get a little intellectual. It's not all about work, this channel. Be a little personable. Be a little, be a little out there. Let me see how you guys think out there. All right, guys, give this video a thumbs up, and like always, let's do yours next, baby.